אני רוצה זיין! אני לא רוצה זיין! I know what you're thinking. Who am I? I've been... I've been absent for a bit, but nothing has changed, really. Still having my coffee. The, the third one today. <laughs> Help. We're gonna be reacting to Trisha Paytas. A very unproblematic person who I'm not annoyed by at all. Unfortunately, she started dating an Israeli guy. Now let me just say something to him, just from me to him. Moshe, Malazazel. Now if you know Trisha, you know she uh, gets obsessed with things really quickly. So one day she's trans, one day she has a multiple personality disorder, one day she's goth, one day she's Jewish. I'm not following at this point. So she uploaded a Hebrew lesson. The title is like how to seduce in Hebrew. So I thought since I have an English boyfriend, I don't know how to seduce in Hebrew. So who's the best person to learn to? Oh, it's Trisha Paytas, guys. So let's get to it. Hey everyone, today we're gonna do another Hebrew lesson. Now, another Hebrew lesson? I didn't realize there were two. I am someone who is currently learning to speak Hebrew. I am an English American speaker um, that is trying to learn Hebrew and it is a very difficult language to try and learn after. Yes, it is. Hebrew is very difficult. So how about Trisha? <laughs> don't learn it. Let's just save you some time. Just don't learn it. Just stop it right there. I am an English American speaker. Try and learn after speaking English for most of my life. What? <laughs> Did you say I'm an English American and I spoke English for most of my life? Try and learn after speaking English for most of my life. What you mean? When weren't you speaking English? When you were in the womb? Let me know if you know Trisha has spoken another language besides English. I'm just really interested and curious. <laughs> so I have been watching a lot of tutorials, a lot of how-to, a lot of pronunciations that have been really, really helpful here on YouTube. So a lot of these tutorials have been very helpful for basic phrases I need to know, like Ani meets Tadedit. Like, you know, obviously I'm always- What? <laughs> Ani meets Tadedit. Like- I'm sorry, that's not a word. I wouldn't make fun of this, usually, I wouldn't. My boyfriend's trying to learn Hebrew. His little accent is the most adorable thing I've heard. Just Trisha taking Hebrew as another obsession just because she's dating and dating an Israeli guy. And she's gonna forget about this obsession in a week. It's just kind of, just a, a tiny bit annoying. And just Trisha herself, I have zero respect for her. I wanna show you why I don't have respect for Trisha and I'm gonna do that with a recent upload she made to TikTok because I'm sure there's loads of videos out there um, you know, calling her out for everything she's done but I'm gonna show you something she uploaded to TikTok like yesterday It's the wig for me It's the lip filler for me It's the fake boots for me <laughs> It's the high nip for me it's the fat belly for me. It's the thinking you're young for me. It's the not apologizing to the DID community for me. It's the not apologizing to the trans community for me. It's the not apologizing for saying the N word 10 years ago for me. So she's aware that she did all, did, did all these things, right? Where's your apology at? That's right, it's non-existent. Being aware of all the wrong that you've done and not apologize. <sighs> I want to know like what's important and I want to know how to get down with a Hebrew ma speaking man like that. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> with her little hairdo of a two-year-old. How to get down with a Hebrew speaking man like. And I just feel like not enough people are teaching that. A lot of people are saying like, Oh, you're cute, you know, but it's like humad or something, which you're not supposed to say to What? Guys, I'm gonna advise you real quick. Do not lis listen to her. Cute is Hamoud, by the way. Humad or something, which you're not supposed to say to a guy because apparently, according to this tutorial on YouTube, she says that's like inappropriate to say to a Hebrew man because it's like calling him a dog, like he's cute like a dog. I no. <laughs> I'm gonna need a link to the tutorial. So Hamoud is only for a guy, first of all. Hamouda is for a female. My dog wants to be picked up. Is a Hamouda. If you're saying to a guy, uh, at the Hamoud in Hebrew, it means like 
you're you're really nice like you're so sweet you know but I found out some very helpful phrases for me that is helpful to get down in the bedroom so if you are looking for a sexy ways to seduce a Hebrew man here are some phrases that'll help you Ani rotsa lamashek utcha that means okay so it's not utcha you said it right but at the end it's otcha o don't teach people what you don't know. It's like me trying to teach you all German and I know like three phrases. That means I want to kiss you. Yeah, if you see a hot speaking Hebrew man and... <laughs> Hi there, hot speaking Hebrew man. Ani Just wondering, right? Would you listen to these tips if it was your own language? Like, oh, I'm seeing a hot man right now. Hello there, shalom. <laughs> So, my recommendation, don't take this tip, it could lead really bad places. Ani rotsa lanashak utcha. She's so proud of herself for that. It's kinda cute. <laughs> but I still dislike her. And make sure you go utcha, because utcha is like masculine, but utcha is like femme. No, 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 no. The word, you got the word wrong to begin with, and you're emphasizing the only word you got wrong. <sighs> I'm confused why the lower voice is oh, masculine and the regular voice is femme. <laughs> Ata meor sexy. <laughs> and that means you are sexy. Which... Uh, <laughs> Ata meor sexy. <laughs> she said it right, but that's the only thing I'm going to say about that. Ata meor Sexy. <laughs> she said it kind of right, but obviously there's the accent barrier, so the, the just kind of sounds wrong, but it's like technically right. And obviously you want the consent of yes and no, so can is yes, like can. No. <laughs> yes is not can. It's can. Like K-E-N. That's how you would say it. Can. Like Ken and Barbie. And, um, low is no. It's not low and it's not can. It's low and can. You're welcome, Trisha. I, I got you. If, you. if you need a private tutor, you know, apologize for all the things you did. Be a better person and then hit me up. And I want is like, I need. Like, I need. No! No, no. I want is ani rotza for a female or ani rotze for a male. Ani is just I or me. She's like, I want is ani. <laughs> Imagine people actually taking this advice. You know, someone who took Trisha's Hebrew lessons goes to a grocery shop in Israel, can't find the Coca Cola. He comes to the cashier. He wants to say, I need Coca Cola. And instead of saying ani rotze Coca Cola or ani tsarich Coca Cola, he would say, Ani Coca-Cola, <laughs> which just means I'm Coca-Cola. I am Coca-Cola. Ani Rosa Uta. Ani Rosa Uta. I can't watch. I can't take this seriously. Ata Rosa Lavo Eli. So she mixed male and female here. She said Ata, which is directed to a male, and then she said Rosa, which is want, and it's directed to a female. That means let's go back to my place. Ata Rosa Lavo. A lie. Let's go back to my face. Atarota. Lava. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it just sounds so wrong and she's taking it so seriously. Atarosa. Lava. A lie. <laughs> Atarosa. Lava. A lie. <laughs> so, just gonna correct the sentence real quick for you. It would be at Rosa. Lavo, Eli, if you're talking to a female. And if you're talking to a male, it would be Ata, Rotse, Lavo, Eli. And you'd say it like, Atotza, Lavo, Eli, Tarotza, Lavo, Eli. I love you in sexy Hebrew is Ani, Ohavet, Ocha. Ani, Ohavet, Ocha. That was kind of cute, not gonna lie. Ani, Ohavet, Ocha. Hope I'm saying that right. It's something. Ani, Ohavet, Ocha. I feel like that, and I feel like maybe they'll just know. Or just be like, Ani, Ohavet, Ocha. Like your second on a day. I don't know. Oh, did she say that? I'm not talking to anyone. One I know a lot better than Ani Ohavet Ocha is Ani Rosa Zin. I'm gonna censor that because my dad is watching my videos, Trisha. But you did say it wrong, and I'm not. 
I'm not gonna tell you how to say it right. I also wonder what tutorial taught you that, baby girl? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for sharing this one, but I love this one. Aniro Tazin! Aniro Tazin! It's so wrong, but so funny. Oh, my Hebrew speaking friends and followers and viewers. Um, Ani needs to edit. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'll accept this apology, um, but can you apologize on like, you know, important things, Trisha? <laughs> like faking you have a multiple personality disorder? Hebrew lesson for Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more Hebrew lessons, let me know. Especially sexy phrases. I think they're really important to know more so than just, hi, how are you? Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. But anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Shalom. That ending was actually very cute. Okay, that was our, that was, that was, that was surreal. Uh, I hope she doesn't give any more Hebrew lessons ever. And I'll see you next time. Who knows when that will be. Again, sorry for not, no upload. Uh, me styrate. <laughs> In the Hebrew slang, you can also just say sorry, like, that that would be much better than saying ani mitzta'eret. Like, ani mitzta'eret is very formal. <laughs> so you can just be like, sorry. Okay, I love you. I uh, wish you a great day. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.